Namaste guys, in this video I am going to make a ratchet mechanism in SOLIDWORKS. So basically I am going to make all this ratchet mechanism in assembly. So first of all click on the insert components, select new part. After that select this part, click on the workspace and after that click on the edit component. Now select the front plane of the edit component, click on sketch press control plus 8 now first we are going to make is our ratchet wheel so draw three circles the diameter of the outer circle is 40 mm the next one is 32 mm and the last one is 10 mm now click on center line draw center line as i'm showing after that the angle between these two line is 60 degree now click on three point arc select this point and this point and just click on here select this line and give it a radius of 23 mm after that click on trim entities trim this line and this circle and this circle now click ok select this line uncheck the four construction click ok after that click on fillet select this uh, make sure that the radius is 0 0.5 before you doing fillet as it will show the error like this ok click ok exit now click on linear sketch pattern click on circular sketch pattern select the center and click on entities to pattern select this line make sure you select fit properly and select this line now increase the number of instances to 6 click ok after that go to features click on extrude ball space select this line select all these if you are uh, if while selecting them these portion are not highlighted make sure you click on selected counters and after that select these ok make sure uh, that the thickness is 10 mm click ok ok right click on it uh, i have done a mistake so right click on extrude base click on edit feature so clear selection basically i don't want to select this center i accidentally select the center that is the reason i have to come back click ok now here is our ratchet wheel now here as you can see that there is a traffic light signal is here so click on the rebuild icon now exit the edit assembly component now again go to insert components click on new part select the new part click here click on the edit component now press ctrl plus 8 for normal sketch to the view press ctrl plus 8 ok as you can see that the sketch is moved now select the front plane on front plane click on sketch as you can see i select this plane now draw a circle now another circle draw a line after that click on three point arc again click on rivet point R click OK make sure that these lines are tangent to it click on trim entities trim this line and the most important thing is that you select this line make sure you that you delete all these instances or the coincidence uh, constraints 
if you don't delete it tell me what kind of problem you are facing okay so try to do the experiment what will gonna what will happen if you don't read constant okay tell me uh, so try do your own and tell me what kind of problem we are facing after that and the thickness is 10 mm click ok after that click on the edit assembly component now again click on the insert components click on new part select this new part click on the workspace click on the edit component now select the front plane press ctrl plus 8 for normal screen to the view again press ctrl plus 8 click on the center rectangle draw a circle of 10 mm click on perimeter circle select select the points on the circle click ok now go to extrude give it a thickness of 2 mm click ok exit the address assembly component now right click on it click on float select this face click on mate select the front plane of the sketch click ok similarly right click on this part click on float right click on this part click on float select this plane and this plane select this circle and this circle make sure that they are concentric now select this face and this face make sure it is concentric now select this face and this face click ok now here comes the important part that is the simulation so press ctrl plus 8 for normal skin to the view go to the motion study tab click on motion analysis now click on contacts select this part and this part and this part click ok click on gravity select the y axis click ok click on motor select this and move downward instead of constant speed change to distance and enter the value of 720 click ok here you see that the rebuild icon so click on the rebuild icon now click on calculate ok I have done a mistake backward select this part make it fix so that it doesn't fall due to the gravity now click on calculate here you can see how it uh, it works very uh, great uh, cool As you can see, it works very great, uh, smoothly. Now, some people uh, will say, hey, what if I want to rotate anti-clockwise? So, watch carefully what will gonna happen. So, we need to do mates again. Sorry, contact. Click OK. After that, sorry for my slow PC. when i click on the reverse direction as you can see 
now go to rotate motion click on edit feature now change the direction as uh, here you can see i have changed the direction click ok now click on calculate as you can see that when this when this i run the simulation it is not moving how the hell it's supposed to gonna move when i already fixed the base and the richard so as you know the rigid mechanism only allowed one direction motion not in other direction okay so when it tried to move in the opposite direction it is not moving so that's it for the tutorial and i hope you guys like and here you see that it is just moving forward so basically it is an error uh, because my PC is not good enough to calculate it properly and it is not gonna move don't worry it will just gonna stuck after three seconds and after an hour it will gonna show me error so that is the reason I am not gonna waste your valuable time I hope you like uh, you guys like this video if you have any doubts and queries make sure you ask in comments thanks for watching and have a great day namaste